that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the Israelites according to the Bible. So, you know, she came out first, so I was talking to her. But we like to do things decently in order. So we're either speak to the man. I mean, I would speak to both of y'all. But, you know, I was telling her that she an Israelite according to the curses in Deuteronomy 28. So in Deuteronomy 28, it said the Lord will bring us into Egypt again on ships. So in, through history, who went into Egypt is a Greek word for Egyptos, meaning bondage or slavery. So who went into slavery on ships in history? We did. So the Bible must be talking about who? Us, right? So the Bible has laws, statutes, and commandments that we must follow. If we don't, we will get cursed. If we do, we will get blessed. Right? Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, and verse 4. Bring it you said your name was again? Alton. Alton? Okay, my name is Asa. That's me, brother. All right. Hey, okay. Let me record again. Uh, you know. so, so that's why we out here. We out here to show you love according to the scriptures. We should out here to show our people who they are according to this Bible. Because right. a lot of our people think that this is a white man's book. Right. But it's a black man's book. Right. right. This is our heritage book, read. Marriage is honorable in all. So it says marriage is honorable in all. And what? And the bed undefiled. So you and your wife, whatever you do in the bed is undefiled because if you, if you have a side chick or a girlfriend, then those beds are defiled. Right. So that's how you could get sickness and different diseases, right? So go to, hold that in the Deuteronomy, what's that, 28 and- 61. Uh, 61 the, the different the different plagues the different diseases that's not written in this bible that will happen to us for being whoremongers and and adulterers and all that read the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61 also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law them will the lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed so God will bring all these sicknesses and plagues on the children of Israel till we be destroyed, meaning death. Because God wants us to listen to him to have life. If we don't listen to him and do it what the hell we want, then we have death as you see in our country. Right? Go back to Hebrews. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. So marriage is honorable in the black community. It's supposed to be. There was a time where it was, but what what happened to that our community in the fifties, in the forties, and so we went to what we went to we went to war. The white man decided to destroy the family, take the black man out of the family. Then now you have a single mother with kids. Now, because even with uh, WIC, food stamps, Section Eight, can they have the man in the household? No. If they do, they'll take it away from them. Right. right. So those are things that the the God put upon the children of Israel. Those are curses because we read earlier that in the want of everything, we got to go to our enemy because we're supposed to be the rightful rulers. Right. But we have fell down to a lower state. Right. This a lower state is hell. We are in hell. Right. Read. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So side pieces, many chicks, those God will judge and say, what? Whoremongers, what? Whoremongers and adulterers. So that's trying to holler at some other, some other brother's wife. Or even vice versa, the woman trying to holler at some other woman's husband. So whoremongers and adulterers, God will what? Judge. Meaning he going to judge you according to the law. That's right. Because when you, when you read in Revelation, it said there's going to be a book that's open and then another book. That's going to be, you're going to get judged upon. Give me that in Revelation, what's that, 20, I think it's 21. Yeah, 21 and 27, read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 27. And no, no, no. Uh, it is, where is that? No, it, I think it's 20. Where is that at, the book? So he's going to judge you according to what your works are and what is written in this Bible, right? So uh, so drop that until somebody find it for me. So go back to Deuteronomy. Because these are stipulations. So we got, you got to, give me uh, Exodus 22, 16. Because when you lay with the sister, you got to make her your wife. 
Because you believe in God, right? And you, and you believe that Christ is a black man? Christ is a black man, right? Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 22, and verse 16. And if a man entice a maid. And if a man entice a maid. So what do you think entice me? You gonna you gonna what what is called in the street? You gonna spit that what? You gonna spit that game, right? You entice her, right? That is not betrothed. Meaning she not promised, she not engaged. If you wanna use that word today, to another man, right? And lie with her. Meaning have sex with her, right? He shall surely. He shall what? He shall surely, surely, like you gonna do this because you laid with the sister. Because in back in the, we were supposed to, we supposed to be virgins, right? You supposed to lay with her when she's a virgin. But now since through captivity, now it's not keeping the law, then obviously we, but God gave us, Christ gave us chance to have grace to repent and change from our wicked ways and we a new creature now, read. And he shall surely endow her to be his wife. His what? His wife. No, his girlfriend. His wife. So you surely shall endow her, meaning you will make her your wife. Give me that in Tobit. Tobit. Tobit 7, 14. Because that's, because, because you remember, the so-called white man is over us right now, right? So he writes the laws. It's called the judicial system. What's the first tribe right here? Jew. And Judah, Jew is short for Judah. So they got the Jew dis the judicial system from this Bible. That's right. Bring so you got what? Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. So even going to the courthouse and getting paperwork, that comes from this Bible. Because what when you go to the Bible, they say put your hand on right, put your right? Go ahead, read. The book of Tobit, chapter seven and verse fourteen. And called Edna his wife, and took paper. And did what? And took paper. Took papers. Because if you die, and you, if you have no paperwork, where does your stuff go to? Because you know we gotta have a will, living testament on that. So if you don't have those type of paperwork, so if you don't have paperwork for your mar a marriage certificate, and you die, where if all the stuff, you got some valuable stuff that you wanted to go to her, but you didn't get the paperwork, where will it go now? To the white man. Right, Reed? And called Edna his wife and took paper and did write an instrument of covenants. An instrument of what? Covenants. Covenants mean that's an agreement. Like, okay, I make you my wife. We in it for the long haul. Read. And sealed it. And did what? Sealed it. So when you go to the courthouse, they stamp it. They seal it. Sign of approval. Meaning that is your wife. So if you haven't done that yet or planning to, I don't see. Because you, you love her, right? That's your wife. So why not? You know, us black people, we like to jump over the broom or uh, seven, what is that, seven years, right? Like, come on, common law. Because in the back of our mind, we like, well, I might leave her one day. Well, I'm, I'm not sure about this. But that's the whole thing about proof. Give me that Ciroc six and seven. You gotta prove people first before you just make them your friend or lie down with them. Because you don't know, not saying she got problems or you, you don't know, right? So you gotta make sure that that's the one that like you gotta prove before you lay down with the sister. Read the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter six, verse seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, so if you get a friend, because that's your friend, right? Because she gonna be your friend before she was your wife, right? Read, prove him first, because you know it's written in masculine form. So it says what? Prove him first. So prove him or her first, because the woman comes from who? The man, because it's woe man, right? Come from man. So even if you say him, it still comes from Read. And be not hasty to credit him. Don't be like, oh yeah, I know. You barely know the person. You're like, yeah, that's, that's a stand-up brother. Or that's a stand-up sister. And then a few months down the line, they backstab you. Right? So we got to, see, these are laws and things we got to go by according to the scriptures. According to what we got to do. This is a book of life. Give me that Proverbs 72. Because this shows us how to live. It shows us instructions on the, on how to maneuver through this society because there's a lot of wickedness going on, right? Everywhere we turn to on the TV, on the radio, is is homosexuality. You could get drunk. You could uh, marry any, you know what I'm saying? You could do all this type of wickedness. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 2. 
Keep my commandments. No, don't keep. Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. God is saying, keep my commandments. Read. And live. And do what? And live. Live. This is how we live. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. Marry the sister. Uh, not eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. You eat pork? Sometimes you do too. You don't? You eat crab? Shellfish. What about catfish? You eat none of that. So you do. So let's so let's get one of those commandments to show you that this because this law endures forever. Right? Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter eleven, and verse seven. And the swine. Which a swine? Pig, right? Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed. And he got a split hoof, right? It's split in two, like that, right, Reed? Yet he cheweth not the cud. Meaning like a cow chew the cud, it, uh, it chews the grass, swallows it, regurgitate it back up, and swallow it again because it got two stomachs. Pig don't do that. Pig don't sweat. Pig eat anything it wants. Like you put it, whatever in front of it, it'll eat it. Eat it it'll eat, eat his own waste, eat dead bodies. Whatever you put in front of a pig, he'll eat it. Read. He is unclean to you. Uh, he's clean. He is unclean to you. I just got prayer. He is unclean to you. Unclean. The pork is unclean to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right. We're not supposed to eat pork. Right. So the Muslims, they got that from us. They took this, they re the Quran means to recite. Right. Right. So they re they bring, they taken some of this and put it in their book. That's why they don't eat pork. That's why they got a beard. Because you know that's a law too. Keep reading. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. No, I can eat it. Shall ye not eat. So we, if you fear God and believe this Bible, you will do what it says. Right. So it said don't eat pork, I'm not going to eat pork. No pork on my fork. I don't want it. No, I don't, dwine, I don't dine on swine. That's right. Read. That's right. And their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. Unclean to you. Now drop down to the fish. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. So this is saying these are what you can eat. Read. Whatsoever hath fins and scales. So if it has fins and scales. In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. So does a catfish have fins and scales? No, it has fins, but no scales. So it says, if it has fins and scales, you can eat it. Right. Tilapia, cod, salmon, right, mahi-mahi. Uh, so it has to have those two characteristics in order for you to eat it. Right. So God gave us a dietary law, moral law, civil law, uh, uh, ceremonial law. He gives us different types of laws that we must keep. The law that we don't keep is sacrificial law because Christ, the black Messiah, came away, came and done that away. Right. Because in the Old Testament, when you committed sin, so what is sin? Breaking the laws of God. So let's get that out of the Bible and prove that because we're just repeating what the Bible says. We're not making this up. Read. Right. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, and verse 3. For this is the love of God. Wait a minute, pardon me. You read that, go ahead and read that. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So that's the love of God. So if you love God, you keep his commandments. So the Christianity says, I love God, I love God, but do they keep the commandments? No. If Sunday is the holy day because sunday is not the holy day sun sabbath saturday is the holy day so let's say if sunday is the holy day what do they do when they leave church they go to denny's they go to ihop and order two two sausage patties pork patties probably two slices of pork bacon dickie's. right uh what dickie's barbecue dickie's barbecue get some sh uh shredded pork that's where they go after church and on the Sabbath, you're supposed to not buy, sell, or cook, or eat pork. So you're just breaking all kind of laws. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. So this is sin. So we love is, is, so love according to God is what? Love according to God is what? It was keeping his commandments. 
So if you love God, you will keep his commandments. So just like your kids, they love you, they will listen to you. Right? Read. Whosoever committed sin. So whoever the Israelites commit sin, read. Transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of God's law. So just like today in, in, the, in society, if you run that red light, you broke the law of the land's law. And what happens? You get a ticket. So in the same fashion, if we break one of God's laws, the ticket he's going to give us is sickness, plagues, curses, or even death. So you don't want those tickets, right? Give me Isaiah 66. Because God going to come and punish us for those that are eating these abominable foods. So if you're eating pork, right, which is an unclean animal, would you eat a buzzard? That's unclean too. What about a, a, a mouse? That's unclean too. Those are the, in the same bracket as the pig. So if you're eating a pig, you might as well eat a mouse, a ferret, a, a, a ostrich, a crane, possum, because they eat possum in the, like in the deep south, right? Possum stew. Right? Frogs. Those are all in the same category as a pig. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 17. Because you look at it like, damn, I'm not going to eat a buzzard. That's nasty. But you've been eating pig and it's the same nasty. Because what? We've been uh, programmed in the society to think that it's okay. Because in slavery, what did they give us? The leftover, the slop, the, the, all the, because where chitlins come from? That's pig guts because that was the end of everything they gave to the slaves. That's why through tradition, soul food, that's our soul food, which is death food. It's, it's not no soul food. It don't give you nothing to live by. Like even grits, that was the end, that was the, the end of the, the corn. So everything we think is as something good or delicacy is something bad because the so-called white man made us think that. Hold that. Give me uh, Colossians 2 and uh, 8 real quick. Because he's tricking us. He's doing a Jedi mind trick on us. Because we think he's Christ. We think he's God. He, make, he, he go to the moon. He go to outer space. He got different things for sicknesses. He, he making all these different inventions. We think he's God. But little known that he's taking our ideas because we the salt of the earth. Right. He's taking all that we create and then he dubs it for himself. What they call it in the, in the hip hop world, culture vulture. So they come and take our culture and then go and, and, and use it, read. The book of Colossians chapter two and verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you. It said beware. So if you seen a sign that said beware, what you gonna do? You gonna turn away, right? Have caution like something going on right there. So it said read it from the top again. Beware lest any man spoil you. Beware lest any man spoil you. That goes into even our brothers, right, with these different philosophies. But it also goes into the so-called white man with his different philosophies, read. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. So their own vain opinion, their own thought process, like Socrates and, and uh, Plato, and you got all these different 5% uh, nation, Muslim, all these different thoughts. You know, you go on the internet, you got all these different philosophies. Well, this is what I think. This is what I think. This is what I think. The Bible says, unless two, two have to agree in order to walk together. Read. And vain deceit. And vain deceit. Lies. So they teaching us lies from the womb. So they're saying, Christ is white. God is white. The Bible's for everybody. We could do whatever you want and still make it in heaven. Those are lies, read. After the tradition of men. So after the tradition of God. After the tradition of men. So they teach a philosophies after their own tradition. Whatever they've been taught from the own from their own philosophy. Like Gandhi or Bob Marley, whatever philosophy they have in their mind because they either smoked out on drugs or on on the uh, drugs of different religions. Read. After the rudiments of the world. So after the foundations of this world. That's what they're teaching us. So like all these sports and all this music. 
that's, that's the foundation of the world. Because in our culture, which is what? What is our culture? Huh? No, what, on, what do we say our culture is? Huh? Urban, what's another word? You listen to it every day. Hip hop, we say that's our culture, right? We say that's our culture, right? So the blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians are Israelites according to the Bible. Right. This Bible is for us, right. not for the whole world, not right. for the whole other nations. Right. Read. And not after Christ. And not after who? And not after Christ. The black man, not after the black Christ, the right. black Messiah right. with the woolly hair afro. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.